Hello and welcome to another game of Dota 2. This is of course a best of three. We are in game number two where TCM is one game down up against Ubels. This is a loser bracket round number one match. We are in the Corsair Gaming Summer Tournament and one of these two teams will be dropped out of Group B because that's where we are. We are in Group B. It is a mini double elimination bracket. Only the top two will move on to the playoffs and the other team will be... Um, well, the other two teams will not be playing on. So one of these two teams will be decided right now, the other one will be decided tomorrow in the loser bracket finals where the winner of this match will be going up against the loser of the winner's bracket finals which are both played tomorrow and uh, we are gonna see if Ubels can win in a 2-0 sweep or if TCM can force out a game number three. I am not by myself for this broadcast, I am joined by Statsman Music who you can follow on Twitter at music stats and you will see what he does inside the game but you won't hear him but the person that you will hear is my co-caster because I have one for this game unlike previous games. Kim, welcome back. Hey, it's great to be back and uh, that last game was actually really intense. I think both teams played really well. I think so too. Uh, like, did you see the matches before that? Were you able to catch those? Uh, unfortunately, not all of them. Okay, because both teams kind of got crushed you know <laughs> yeah i saw tcm get yeah by by fanatic that yeah was... and same thing goes for for ubels versus kp i mean they got crushed but these two teams right now are, are playing very like very solid we saw that tcm they had a bit of the same lineup as they had versus the in the first game versus fanatic which didn't work out for them at all at the time but this time they were able to use it a bit more aggressive and it worked a bit better and, and yeah it was very even it's just in the end, TCM? Or what do you think that the cause was that TCM couldn't get it through? I think that positioning at the Roche fight, that was super weird by TCM. They just basically begged for a vacuum wall combination. I mean, they all... They used the Naga Siren ultimate, that was really nice. They got the cheese off of it, and they could position themselves, but they just... Yeah, stood on top of each other and waited until the wall was coming. So, basically begging for a, te a team wipe. And uh, in general, I think they played really good. Uh, the laning phase was a bit off, I feel, especially the mid lane shouldn't have died the Omni Knight solo to a Kanka. Um, but yeah, yeah, overall, still a good performance. Yeah, with an Omni Knight mid. Yeah, you don't see really... that every day. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I uh, don't think we're gonna see that today. We have got TCM picking up a Naga Siren again. This time, together with a Gyrocopter and Weaver banned out, so we won't see him. Right now, a Darkseer again up on Ubels, together with a Nature's Prophet, so that's interesting. One of those two will be in the jungle, the other one will be either mid or still on the off lane. We've got a Bedrider Wisp once again banned out. We've got ourselves a Keeper of Light and an Alchemist banned out by TCM, and the tree, Nyx Assassin, Shadow Demon, and of course the Weaver banned out by Ubels. And again, a Dazzle. I, I'm like, this is the third time we see them do this today. Apparently, they really like this lineup, but they haven't won with it yet. Yeah, they really like this Naga Siren Dazzle combination because of the Riptide and the Illusion, uh, and with the Shadow Weave deals a lot of burst damage. And you could see in the last game actually, like the early to mid game, where they, when everyone, uh, where every time someone was caught out of position, he was immediately dead. Yeah. Uh, so that's actually kind of nice, but it feels like TCM hasn't quite perfected yet how to play this lineup in the late game because I think their early and mid game is always quite good, or at least promising, but their late game feels somewhat Iffy. Yeah, I think they can be more aggressive with the combination that you said. I mean, they could run in an aggressive trail lane, I think. But to do that, you have to have also a safe lane that can also carry the game for you if you are indeed not really winning your aggressive trail lane. But, uh, but yeah, I, I mean, this is not a scrim. That's true. If you want to practice a lineup to do better, you'd not... Like, this is not the time to do it. You're in the loser bracket, round one game, and you could be eliminated from the tournament. Uh, that was actually something I thought when they picked up the Tinker against Fnatic. That was still really weird. Like, that lineup, in my mind, didn't make much sense. Um, but you mentioned that they can, can go aggressive. I think with the Visage pickup, they can. Put the Jarkop in the safe lane, uh, farming up there. Um, pick up a really good mid hero like a Queen of Pain, a Pog that can really dominate or a game can set the pace. Yeah. And I think um, TCM, yeah, I, I think they have to go aggressive, especially against an anti mage. 
Yeah, I fully agree. And of course, Visage also later on with his familiars can really be positioned properly to stun people up after a song, for example, that is a brilliant tool. And I really hope that they're going to go aggressive. We do have a Slark getting banned out, so it looks like Ubels is expecting a bit of an aggressive mid. We did see them with a Queen of Pain earlier on with the stand-in that they had at the time that wasn't able to win up against the puck of someone. But, um... Am I saying someone? Hanny. Hanny. Puck of Hanny. Probably. But they go for Dragonite and I find this maybe a bit too greedy. I find it too greedy and too passive. Um... I mean, DK, Naga, Siren, and Jagacopter, ideally, they all want farm and they all want some sort of big item, at least a BKB, uh, the Fusel Blade, something along those lines, just to be even remotely uh, good in teamfights or you know, to participate at all. I don't know. Again, I think a Pac or a Queen of Pain would have been a lot better, some sort of playmaker. I think DK is too passive. Yeah, I, I agree. And they don't even know yet what they're going to be up against in the mid lane and Ubels now can just pick up a mid hero that they think like yeah we can do very well against the Dragonite if we pick like this hero will be an OD, will be a Puck or a Queen of Pain or you know there's a lot of heroes that do really well against the Dragonite including the Kunkka that they had previous game as well and they have a full house. Three purples, two bluish. Indeed, indeed. You like your poker references don't yeah. you? Yeah. They're funny, and some like it often works. You wouldn't sure. believe, like, okay, I know you can look up combinations with, um, with, um, with the that Dota music. Could you look up for me? Like, this is a stat request. I don't normally do that, but hey, since we're here anyway, the win rate of Darkseer Bane. That's gonna be my request, and I'm not sure if it's possible, but if it is. Then I would like to know the win rate of Darkseer Bane, because they and like they are in games so often. It's true, actually. Because I almost, because oh, like always, I say like purple strat, because that's with that's the two th two heroes that are always together. It's an anti carry combination. You've got your fiend skip, as well as you can copy people uh, with the Darkseer wall, obviously. And yeah, it's pretty strong, I'd say. But it's still, it's it's interesting to see that they get picked up together so often. I'm just curious to see what their win rate is. We are gonna see TCM on the dire side for this match at sea. We'll be on the Weaver for the third time today. Blueberry Ninja this time though. This is a switch They're going for the Naga Siren. That does mean, I think, an aggressive try lane. Go Audio playing the Gyrocopter. Probably going toward the, towards the safe lane. He actually picked up Boots and gets himself some extra regen. Pulled. We have got Hawaii playing the Visage in this game, and then the last but not least, it is Werner who will go on the Dragonite on the solo mid lane. And on the uh, Radiant side, it is Ubel's Gaming. I'm oh! going to pronounce him. You say what? it properly, you're a German! Ha! Sorry. Yes, I'm <laughs> a German. I'm a German. Uh, which is why I'm going to pronounce every name German. Uh, uh, then again, RMN is quite quite standard. Uh, Naturel? What's he Naturel? referred to? Okay. Yeah, it's. Just, uh, just on, <laughs> yeah, or, or, or just natural. Yeah, okay. Oh, doesn't really matter actually. On the Bane, uh, our men on the anti mage uh, in the mid lane exist playing the Kanka, and the and yeah, he probably heading straight towards the jungle is uh, Nature's Prophet played by Alex. And on the bottom lane, it's Ada on the dark seat. Ada. Really? I think so. I've heard it that uh, that way. We can call by him Edward. Some other German people. Edward. It's oh. his real name. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah oh, yeah. Most Germans actually have names that resemble their real name. I mean, if you look at Alex, um, our man, his name is Roman, Roman. So. Oh, yeah. Ede. That's okay. Ed, Ede. So say Ubelst again? Ubelst. 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 Like it's a really small word. Word. Ubelst. <laughs> Weird. Okay, so we are going to have an aggressive trial lane. So. I am happy, like, this is the one thing that I've been wanting the entire time that TCM picks up Dazzled in combination with the Naga Siren. They're up against the solo darks here. It's not the easiest lane, uh, lane, but they might be able to make it work, especially, of course, if they land the net after the surge has been hit. We are gonna have a mid lane that is a Dragonite Kunkka combination. Should be going the way of the Kunkka, I'd say. We'll see who ends up taking it as uh, Rorna, of course, tries frantically to get his bottle up as fast as possible. Same thing goes for the Kunka, who is very far ahead, actually. And on the top lane, it's a dual lane. 
because of course yeah. you've got someone in the jungle, and this is a safe duel lane, or sorry, suicide duel lane, I should say. But they should be able to make it work because they're only up against Go Audio, and there is actually oh, Natural goes for the Enfeeble. Um, I think this is a bit of a stretch. I don't think they actually need the Enfeeble um, to win this lane. I think they have actually. I think even Antimage could go solo against the Gyrocopter, but if they duel, they don't even need the Enfeeble. I think, uh, but still. I like this laning from Ubuntu a lot. I mean, look at the bottom lane. I think Dox here can do really well against these two heroes. Um, <laughs> and TCM, oh, yeah, 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 she's getting a, she's getting harassed quite decently. Um, eventually, Nagasiren will run out of region, and I think at that moment, Dox here will get a lot of farm um, because she has to be more more and more careful. Yeah, I agree. I agree for sure. And I mean, if they can't make that trail lane work, and they can't get Blue Bear Ninja up to farm. They're gonna have a lot of trouble because they don't have that aggressive mid-game hero that we talked about earlier on. They have a Dragonite. And oh my god, I wish for TCM to buy a flying courier. Look at the path that the courier is taking for TCM. Ooh, yeah, they. I mean, they it's, really it's probably gonna be safe, but this is probably one of the worst. Like, like you don't want that to happen. I'm not sure why they yeah. want sentry wards, by the way. Does Zezel think this is blocked? I think it's. I think he thinks it's blocked because he tried to pull the small camp, uh, and he didn't. He failed at it, and uh, I guess he's assuming that's because of wards. Not sure. Not because of the failure. Always believe in yourself. I guess that's good. Oh that's wow! Like zero five. This, we've seen it. This is the third time today, right? Oh, you would think that they would try something else. Yeah, they really stick to their guns. I mean, they're really convinced that this Naga pickup is going to be good for them. And I guess if this is their comfort zone, um, they should play it. But I, w I would have preferred to see some sort of change, like maybe them go for the anti-mage. Well, they have something made a really bit of safe. a change. I mean, Atsu went towards the top lane and they leave the Visage alone on the bottom lane with the uh, Naga Siren. I'm actually surprised that this is the combination that they go for. Rather than setting the Visage top, considering that Naga Siren and Dazzle on themselves are actually quite decent matchup, but hey, they're cool. Nuitan, though, I mean, uh, it is like he's fine, he's getting experience. He might not be getting that many last hits, but he's getting experience, and that's all you can ask for right here. And he's doing just fine, making sure that Blue Bear Ninja is not getting free farm. 17 last hits for Blue Bear Ninja, while the Kunkka, for example, who is in the mid. On the side of uh, Ubels is sitting at 24. Also, Antimage is not free farming though, so I guess that DCM is getting something in return for their lane switches, but still. That's true. I actually expected our men to do a lot better. I mean, I think this matchup favors him, um, especially since they were 2 on, two versus 1 for like the first two minutes. Um, I think the reason they left the Visage on the bottom lane is that the Visage can engage from range, whereas Dazzle, I mean, to deal a lot of damage, you kind of have to put the Naga Siren into the Darkseer range, and uh, that's not always as easy, especially if he has Iron Shell up and stuff like that, so maybe that's the reason why. Yeah. It could be. It is still the heal, seems like, yeah, oh well, their choice. Yeah, and they did go for a counter ward. <laughs> so sad. Mid lane, a bit of harassment traded. It's actually like, oh, our men taking a lot of harassment there actually. But I guess if you if you gonna assume like maybe you made a mistake and you try to stack again, like if you if it is blocked, then you're gonna lose a lot. Now this time around, his center was actually useful. They did block the camper uh, when they saw Devil was in, uh, so he actually deported a, a ward. You're talking about Dazzle, right? Uh, yes. Ida is in some trouble. You get netted up. So some she'll be there, but there won't be a kill, even though it gets pretty close. But the self will be there to heal him back up. No first blood on the board just did. Yeah, I was talking about the Dazzle. Like, he counterwarded nothing, obviously. He did counterward. Yes. Uh, I heard, yeah. But he counterwarded oh, nothing. Well. Like, not, there wasn't anything. In the meantime, Go Audio, he was still able to deny, if feeble or not. I mean. And Feeble, now with the face boots, he can take it. He is gonna force the Bane to level more and Feebles if you want to continue being harassing with it. Because for now it's okay. 
in the meantime, exist in the mid lane, barely escaped there. I think he survived on like 80, 80 HP. Werner popped the Dragon Form and the Dual Breath. A lot of damage, actually. Yeah, we're in a level 6. He's 30 for 0, while Exist is sitting on 40 for 5, so Exist still getting the better of it. Wow, I'm not sure why Dazzle just gave that rune to Exist. Uh, Exist faked the, faked the torrent, I guess ah. he expected, but he could have still denied it, so yeah. still a surprise. And actually, I mean, I've seen that in the previous game on say way, Atzi, he doesn't go for his poison touch. And I'm, quite I'm surprised about this as well. I think I think poison touch at least one level in it is quite nice. Uh, yeah, I think three levels. I mean, yeah, of course. You want uh, to have your stuns and the sable wise. I mean, they've got the net. They've got a lot more than they had previous games. So they've got and the net and the snare, of course, and the cooldown. In the meantime, lane. top lane. Yeah, that natural. That's gonna be the first blood. Go out. You were able to pick it up. R and M. Our men not able to save him. I mean, quite nice. Go audio just pop level six immediately. Use the call down and uh, yeah, there's nothing much to do for the bane. He's just level four. Yeah, we are gonna see exist. Actually, having some trouble right now. Like he was ahead f at first, and he is still ahead, of course, because of that. Oh, but we're actually feeling a bit more confident. Bottom lane in the meantime, indeed, might have some trouble. He's getting slowed down. Bluebear Ninja can't chase though, because he's already used everything he had, and gets harassed a bit by that iron shell. But that's not going to be a kill. Nature's Prophet even came in to try and see if he could do something. Nature's Prophet, who by the way almost has his hand of Midas ready, or has his hand of Midas ready, assuming he is going to be buying that. I think we're going to assume that he is. Yeah, he is most likely going to buy it. And uh, our man now transitions to the bottom lane. I guess he didn't have much of a good time top. Uh, but I'm not sure if this bottom lane is much better. Oh, it looks like they want to fight this though. They've got four here on the bottom lane for Nubels. TCM almost getting RNM, but he has got that spell shield. It helps out a lot. In the meantime, that's going to be one kill going the way of Naturo. Gets the Bane of Wyo dropping. Blueberry Ninja trying to fly himself away, but here comes the Bane and the Nightmare. And the Sprout if they want it. And that's gonna be Blue Bear Ninja trying to uh, run, but no can do. Ninja's Prophet in the end with the last hit. Four people used to get take down three, two rather. Pretty decent in the meantime. Some free firm on the top lane going the way of the Gyrocopter. And that might actually... Nah, no, will result in a push. Because Eid switches as well, goes towards the top lane. So the switch hereby is a complete. Rotation rather. I think... A questionable decision by TCM to not TP go audio and Dazzle in. I think Blueberry Ninja bought a lot of time. Um, if Dazzle had TP, a Shallow Grave would have saved him. Gyrocopter could have even turned around with his call down. I mean, uh, during the whole time, our man was really low on HP. So I think they could have, might have even gotten a kill there, but TCM just didn't want to TP in. Yeah. They. Just said, screw you guys. Ooh, here comes the boat. Werner might be in some trouble, getting stunned up. Here comes a torrent as well with the dragon tail. Will still be there. Is it gonna be enough? Werner turns into a dragon. Atzi is gonna be here as well. Shallow Grave will help out. And here comes a Wyo. They wanna try and get exist. But the Sprout comes in. A two-man Sprout coming in. From the Nature's Prophet Alex. Able to save his Kunkai. I'm not sure if he would've died otherwise anyway, but still pretty nice. Sprout there to make sure that nothing else happened. In the meantime, Antimage is in trouble, getting netted up. Bluebear Ninja out of mana for now. Won't be able to and have a Riptide on cooldown actually. Armin able to blink himself away. He's not even having an easy time on this bottom lane by himself up against that Naga Siren. Yeah, she's uh... Oh, that's gonna Ooh. be finally the Kunkka going down. Soul Assumption in the end gets him in the meantime. Darkseer goes down to the top lane. Solo kill for Gyrocopter. Didn't even use his his uh, cooldown for it. Just a rocket barrage and the harassment that he was able to do earlier is just it. Quite surprised. Yeah, really nice deep ward for um, oh, TCM. Fiend's Grip, hold your breath there, because Blue Bear Ninja might actually die. There we go, Mana Void. Alex gets an assist by using his Nature's Wrath. I'm um, like, yeah, finally. Our man picks himself a Ring of Health. He's been sitting on very low life for a long time. Those birds might be, might be able to do something there. They stun up the two heroes, but yeah. Okay, everything is safe again, unless the birds are gonna go down. That's yeah, one, and that's Dyer's gonna be 100 gold going the way of the Bane. But yeah, a little bit of action everywhere right now. Um, I like the movement, uh, some rotation coming out to every lane. But yeah, what I wanted to say is the deep ward on the top lane. Really nice, sees the TP coming and uh, Gordia had full vision over uh, the Darks here. Always knew that he was so low and I'm not sure why he still went in. 
But yeah. Top tower is under attack. Well, in the end, he paid for that with his life. He has got the soul ring, but I mean, not doing too too magnificent. He has got the levels though, just not the farm. I mean, in terms of farm, it is still fairly even, I'd say. Nature's Prophet is actually doing really well for Ubel, so that helps out. Again, of course, they're off laner and then not doing too well, but at least the Nature's Prophet is doing okay. We've got the Kunka sitting highest in terms of net worth. And it is for TCM not going too bad either because their gyrocopter oh, as well as their dragon are doing okay. Eid getting a rocket in his face but Radiant's will be able to survive and the rocket barrage attack. not enough to do anything more there. In the meantime bottom lane we might have some trouble for our net because here comes a slow. The blink away will still be there as well. There should be a net if there is one. They can't. Oh no they can't find him anymore. They went the wrong way. They thought he blinked that way. Nope. That's a wasted song and that's a safe anti-mage. Bottom tower it was a top. nice attempt, I guess. He should, he could have landed the net earlier, though. That's true. I think I think he was just baiting out the blink and then tried to net him then. But um, yeah, I think the net, as you mentioned, would have been a lot better if it had come earlier. And this tower, yeah, it should fall, I guess. Yeah, it's something. Yeah. TPs are gonna come in though. They want to defend this. Here they come. It is gonna be E that comes first. And to make his way again as well. Sprout is already up up on YO. He can't really do that much. He can't Apart from die, I guess, because he is gonna go down very fast. Exist coming in as well. Naga Siren in some trouble. Sleep is on cooldown, and the Fiend's Group is gonna be there. That's a level 6 Bane showing for it. Nature's or Naga Siren ends up going down. Lends a rip tide up on everybody, but double kill going the way of Alex. In comes a dragon. Dragon till. Dragon's Breath might be able to get the kill. There we go. Dragon's Breath up on two. Can he get a double kill? One more hit. Netro. Is there gonna be a brain stab? No brain stab. Double kill for Werner there and TCM. They take it back. At least two kills. Might not be exactly the ones that I want because they still want to kill off that anti mage, but anything is better than none. And they take the tower down as well. Our man is going to get forced away. We'll be blinking away and TPing out most likely as the dragon is going to chase him down. The blink away is there. Uh, the birds are looking for him though, and he can't find him there as well. And they're going to set him up, but they won't be able to reach him. No, there's no way they can actually get oh, there. Werner, <laughs> Although Warner, yeah, yeah, he's trying to. Yeah. Nah, he can't get there. Well, he's. he's, ho he's there's not gonna be it's, oh, no. His quelling blade wasn't enough in the end. He was, he was of course oh. looking for that long range dragon until he didn't actually have the mana in the end. Well he had the breath fire but couldn't get a range for anything else. Oh well, five to five the kill score. Gyrocopter, top of the list of net worth. Of course the tower that went down really helped with that. That was the first tower to go down in the game, by the way. Oh yeah. In general, both teams playing quite equal, I guess, in terms of farm and uh, net. top lane. Nice dark seer wall, though. And that's gonna be Iron Man. Safe. Walks back into the fight somehow. Wants to go for Atsy. There's some extra armor, but the Shallow Grave is not gonna save him for much longer. That's gonna be one kill going away of Iron Man. Second kill of the game going to him, by the way. He's been in five out of the six kills. Might be able to get something more if he's not uh, dead before then. As Blue Baron Angels may be able to throw it to turn it around. Gets a net up on Eid. Trying to run away. Doesn't have a song. Sure job. X mark the spot. We'll be there. Torrent as well. And that is going to be Blue Bear Ninja dodging the torrent. And safe. They will lose a tier 1 tower mid. And with they, I mean Ubels. And on the top lane, I think the tier 1 is going to go down as well. Oh, Naga Siren. Oh. Why? Why is he hanging around? I'm not sure. He is that so was, dead. Yeah, that was a misplay. He should have backed off. And why is Visage TPing by himself? This is. This could be horrendous. I think Hawaii is dead. I think Hawaii just committed suicide. That's that's something TCM cannot afford. In general, I thought the trade was really good. They lost to Dazzle and Naga Siren just wasted time from people's gaming. Yeah. And they got two towers now. I mean, they even got the tier two in mid. So that could have been a lot better trade if Naga Siren uh, Visage didn't walk back in, in there. They feed themselves, you can say it, it's okay. Yeah. Because that was that was his weird play, I guess. Maybe maybe Naga Siren didn't think they were all five there, but they were and I think they I think she saw them. Or maybe some miscommunication thinking like, okay, we're gonna go in and then you know, Naga Siren goes in and is like, Why did nobody TP in? And is like, Okay, I'll TP in from the visage and he TPs into his death just to show some like I don't know, support? <laughs> yeah, it feels like it's some sort of sympathy TP, like, okay, yeah, uh, I I'll care I'll die you. too, just to make you feel less bad. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, I think she, Naga Siren should have known that uh, all of them were there, because no one was defending mid, no one was even defending bottom. Yeah. Um, so, oh well, it's 
it's not the end of the world. Again, they did get the tier 2 mid, which is really nice in terms of gold and map control. Um, yeah, they're gonna get they... a tier 1 top now as well. There's nobody incoming or Google to defend it for now. If only yep. Alex is sending through uh, Major's Wrath to try and uh, get something going there. But no, Visage ends, ends up taking the kill, taking the gold. He's got some boots, he's got 500 gold. It's actually really nice that he got that gold. Wait a second, Blue Bear Ninja goes for the song. And that's gonna be two people caught out of position. Can they take him down is the question. Home Missa already hit, they go for Alex first. They leave Bane alone, unless... No, a Nightmare, and that's gonna be Bane alone. That's gonna be Bane alive, Alex going down, obviously, but... I don't know, a bit of awkward communication of going for the Bane or not. They should have had two people going for the Bane, obviously, otherwise. I think so too. There was there was a bit of an overkill on the Nature's yes. Prophet. I think if they had spread, they could have gotten maybe two kills. Yeah, as you mentioned, the Bane as well. So that was a bit of awkward. They all just, okay, let's just kill him. We hate him. We hate Nature's Prophet. I got him. That's, that's good. And they, by the way, they got a deny on their tower in mid lane. Yeah, also that's pretty nice. big. And during all this, the hand of Midas is off cooldown on Nature's Prophet. That's just time not being used efficiently. Time is a waste. A Wyo sitting on 700 gold. We don't have any items yet up on Werner, at least not next to his treads and his uh, drums. He's got 2300 gold though. BKB first item might be the one that he wants to go for. He's gonna hide at the moment. I think he's going to weigh his options. I, th I still think uh, Shadow Blade is also an option. Um, highly yes, there's popular already a Shadow Blade up on the Gyro though. That's true, that's true. Um, we'll see, I guess. Maybe go for straight for the AC early on. I would, would like to see that, be, actually. Yeah, would be nice with their lineup as well. Like, they already got this minus armor thing going on with the Naga Siren and with the Dazzle. And it would be even better with the uh, Salt Just give yourself some more item as well and then make the difference between the two bigger. Exactly, and it looks like TCM really wants to push early on. I mean, they took, like, uh, four towers already. So um, with the AC, of course, their push is going to be so much stronger, and they have to be really careful now. I mean, they are spotted out by Ubels, and uh, good vacuum. Nah. They don't have a song up though. Gyrocopter ends up taking the Aegis, and maybe with that, Ubels is not going to try and take that. He is, well, he's walking past the Sentry Ward, but they don't really see him anymore. So that's going to be them backing off as well. And that's going to be everybody back to farming. Most importantly, Anti Mage, who is still building towards his Battle Fury. Yeah, he had a terrible time, I want to say. I think I pointed it out that his lane against Jarcopter should actually have been quite good, but somehow he didn't really manage to get a lot of farm, then he transitioned, he died, and uh, he had to walk back a lot because he was really low on HP a lot of the time. And uh, this hurts his teams because they can't defend right now, and um, they're going to lose yet another tower. Yeah, this is... Uh... Not looking too good for Ubels at the moment though. TCM, despite the mistakes that have been made, they are getting the better of the map control. They do take down the tier 2 tower, there's only one tier 2 left standing now on the side of Ubels. Ubels themselves still has four towers to take down, including the top tier 2, which they're trying to go on right now, but it is uh, gonna be Ubels that backs off again. Shadow Blade up on Alex, maybe able, uh, able to split push a little bit more. I mean, there is this window of opportunity for TCM to take the game before Anti Mage is too big and. They have the window pretty far open right now, and I think if they make it, like if they don't rush it too much, but also don't really throw it or delay it too long, they will be able to have a good chance to take this game. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. Maybe they're just waiting on a few crucial items. Oh, the Baron Ninja. He's getting song. hunted down. Yeah, he doesn't want to use the song for that, but he might be forced to. Ah, uh, Riptide will be there. Uh. Oh, Surge is gonna have a bit of miscommunication there. Surge up on Bane, but he's not gonna try to go for it anymore. But yeah, I guess they're waiting on like the Lincoln Sphere on Blue Bear Ninja, which is really nice because they only have so little uh, targeted spells. So every one that he can evade is really crucial, like the Fiend Scrib, yeah. the Nightmare. Um, Sprout, maybe even. wait on Mana that. Void. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, pretty decent. We do have the BKB up on the Dragon Eye, so in the end he does buy a BKB straight off the bat with the gold that he had. Uh, what other item that we just see getting picked up there? We've got a BKB also for the Gyro almost ready, by the way. Oh, nice, yeah. And Battle Fury is now finished on our men. Ah, that's the Ex one that I saw, yeah. Okay. Exist also has a Shadow Blade. Uh, Mech has finished up on uh, Darkseer, which is really important for them. 
Yeah. Um, their team fight is really strong, but currently they're kind of behind in both farm and experience, so that Mexican can make up with it. And oh, our oh, men. Oh, there guys. goes a Dragon Tail. The slow is there, and they take him down in the duration of the stun. Nice pick off there for TCM. Worth the smoke for sure. Like, maybe even a double worth the smoke. Like, that's the best hero that you could find on pick off there for TCM. And they, uh, they rotate top. There is, uh, that's the only place where tier 1 tower is still standing. Tier 2, rather. Yeah, no god, he finds Ada. Yeah, cooldown comes down as well, trying to slow him down a little bit, but he actually dodges it, and Ada is able to get away. Ada, sorry. I don't think he really minds if you, uh, how you pronounce it. Sounds right both ways, I guess. So. Yeah, three minute, three and a half minutes slower Battle Fury than average. A really a sad anti-mage. Of course he had a tough lane, Ko, boat flying in, here it comes, but it misses, but it, it still gives above, but it's not like there's gonna be a fight. Exists not really on par with the boats today, we do have the tower going down, and that is TCM backing off. They don't really, really want to force anything just yet, rather want to hold on to their assets and just increase their uh, advantage, because they have got a pretty okay advantage right now. It hasn't been that big the entire game, but it's not going the way of the 7, 6k gold. Uh, in terms of experience, though, it is Ubao that is ahead. Yeah, they're doing a really good job at split pushing, uh, which gives them a lot more farm, obviously, uh, experience, obviously. Um, TCM pushing a lot, sitting on top of each other with like three to four heroes, sharing their XP. Um, oh, Alex, not sure why he TP'd here. Yeah, I'm not sure either. It could be his death. He goes for the Shadow Blade, but there is a gem. A gem is actually up on the Dazzle, though. Or at least still in his inventory, never mind that. They don't get him. Still safe for now. Yeah, and of course part of the experience difference is Alex because he has got that hand of Midas. And he is doing uh, really well for himself. Audio, sentry board, oh. fiends, grip. That's gonna be audio going and down. No hope for him anymore. Incomes exist for the last hit. Oh hey, he had an Aegis. I forgot about that almost. And they won't even try to go for him again. They don't have a fiends grip anymore. And look at that. <laughs> yes. There's Rescue party coming, coming in. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, don't really want to fight in that. Taking the Aegis is a good victory on itself, and they didn't really spend too much on it as well, I mean, they're not gonna really try to fight anything anytime soon anyway, so the Fiend's Grip is a worthy sacrifice. TCM, they're kind of playing on a clock right now. Um, yeah. Looking at the net worth, I mean, of course, Antimage had a bad time, but he's catching up. I mean, he has Battle Fury, and I think everyone knows what happens when an Antimage gets time to farm. And the same applies to Nature's Prophet, who has been farming a lot of the time as well. Um, doing a really good job at split, split pushing. He will eventually force out a TP to the top lane again. So um, they really have to make something happen. And I would say like the next 15 to 20 minutes, but even 20 minutes is, could be a bit late if Antimage picks up like a meta right now. I'm gonna say like they don't have 20 minutes. Although unless the Antimage is really farm solid, but I'm gonna assume that he does, obviously. But yeah, they, they, I don't think they have 20 minutes. Uh, we see the gold per minute, it was on uh, 362 when the pass was going on. And it's already on 372, so, you know, it's going up. So we have got a net up on Netro, but he'll be able to get himself away. TCM was trying to make something happen there. We have a mechanism almost up in a while. Maybe they're waiting for that before they go again. But Lincoln's is probably also something indeed, like you already pointed out. That they want to wait for him. Blueberry Ninja almost has that complete. Looking at the items in general, um, it's not too much of. I like the yeah, crystal is obviously the first pickup for exist after the shadow blade. Um, yeah. Hopefully we're going to see a few crits. I like those. Just, I like those conquer hits. Yeah, we do. He have went straight. Like he went straight for the AC last game, right? Um, exist. Exist. Yeah. No, he has a crystalis and then a delus oh, okay. and then an AC. He oh, didn't okay. have the shadow blade, I believe. His gyrocopter. Finds himself a solo kill. He had dust in his inventory, so that's Alex going down. Nature's Prophet, that is. One thing that, of course, is like you have got yourself a Nature's Prophet with the Shadow Blade, you've got a Kunkka with the Shadow Blade. That's gonna be allowing a lot of uh, regen there as uh, Blueberry Ninja uses his song on the ball main to get himself out of trouble because uh, Exist was around there. But yeah, there's gonna be gems and dust up on your enemy team, so you have to take that into account if you are the Nature's Prophet because you're the, gonna be the one. To roam around most, of course, you also have to take that into account if you're Kunkka, but you're gonna lose use the Shadow Blade more aggressively than defensively on the on the Kunkka, so mm, less of an issue for him. As we do, of course, have that gem of true setup on Etsy now as well. 
Well, by the way, Atsy is like one, one, one. He has only been in two fights out of, of two kills out of the eight. It is eight to eight. The kill score. Yeah, it's a really I don't know. Um, guess we've been spoiled by a few games in the past, but eight eight kind of feels like a slow-paced game. Both teams somewhat content. Oh, Werner. Oh, Alex. Not sure why he TP's in so aggressively. This time there's no dust anymore. Gyrocopter actually sold this one dust to get himself the Helm of Dominator. Lucky him, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Alex, I'm not sure why he TP's blind into the enemy jungle. It's the second time as well. Exactly. That's He has no vision in there. Uh, bit of a ballsy move. Yeah, Lincolns is ready up on Blue Bear Ninja. Two minutes before Roshan is back, so maybe TCM with the Aegis, they are gonna try and go again, if they find the Aegis, of course. I mean, with finding, I mean, win the Aegis. Considering that I don't think Ugos is gonna be willingly giving it away, especially not since our man is actually looking like he's almost ready to fight. He is building towards his man, so he already got the Asha ready, and in terms of gold per minute, he is already almost 100 gold per minute higher than he was when that pause happened just now, when he got his Battle Fury. Yeah, in general, I think uh, I agree. Ebots, uh, they should definitely fight the Rosh uh, or contest the Roshan because with the Docks here, you can always turn around the strength of the enemy against themselves and uh, add to that that the Nietzsche's Prophet is quite farmed as well and the Conquer is going to deal a lot of damage. So, oh, oh, the Warner on the top lane. Yeah, in some trouble. Fiend's Grip and Torrent coming in. That's going to be a one dead dragon. Alex coming in to help out. And actually gets the last hit in the end as well. Alex, who's building towards a Hex, I would believe. I'm gonna be having that side of Vice up soon and some more control. I mean, control is something that Ubos is kind of strong in already. They've got the Vacuum, which is not really a big control, but it's actually a pretty big control in terms of teamfight positioning. They've got a Torrent, x -Mart Spot, Sprouts, Fiend's Grips, Nightmare as well, and TCM. Oh, Sprout up. Then they get more BKB turned on for Guardio. Boat comes in as well. That is already gonna be natural. Gone though, and Alex running away. But this time, as he close by, this time there is a gem. Can they stop him from TPing out? Is the question. No, they cannot, and he'll end up living. Well, Exist is actually trying to take down the tower. It might not be the best choice of him though, because in comes the dust, in comes the soul assumption. The slow is already there. Home missile on the way as well. Eid comes in with the surge. One takes his uh, exit again into the jungle, but gets slowed now instead. And that's gonna be him getting stunned up as well, because oh, actually, never mind. It's only level one. Poison Taja told you, Atsy, you should spec that a bit higher in the end, though, Kunka. TPing himself out in the middle of the road. Yeah, that's gonna help out. 9 to 10 in the kill score, so both teams getting a kill and TCM getting one extra on the board. They got, of course, the Bane and the Kunkka, while they only lost the Dragonite at the start, of course, beforehand. Yeah, but I think they got a tower in the mid lane and, well, top lane will be denied, so... But still, it's... I guess you will... Can't... They can trade like this. Um, they're getting some decent farm on their heroes. They're split pushing a lot, regaining map control, and uh, I think it was DK who was, or War yeah, Warning, he was scribbling on the map and basically saying, guys, we don't have any vision in this general area. And they really don't. Um, they lost the control over that area. They don't have too many wards up, actually, only one right now. Um, and I'm not sure if they should go into the Roche pit without too much vision here. At least put up the ward. I'm but, try. Yeah. And Ubels is not in a position to fight it now anyway. Um, Kunka just respawned. And Dox, you're still in top lane. They won't be able to fight this. Do they even know? Like, they have yeah, now that they ward, know. but... And there's Treants now in the... Oh, yeah. Oh, there were Treants. But yeah, they are too late right now. Maybe our men can do something to a tower, but even that tower is like full on HP. So he has to be careful even because... Ed, well, Dazzle can't really do anything. It's gonna be the Aegis going to the Gyro, TP out from our men. I think with this Aegis, or maybe wait until the... Uh, actually, the mech is now finished on Visage, so yeah, I think they should push it now, um, TCM. Not sure they can afford to uh, drag this out any time longer. Yeah, I agree. And, and, I mean, next item that they would wait for is an Assault Cross up on the Dragonite. He's got himself a Hyperstone, so he's not that far off, but yeah, I, I don't think they have the luxury to wait. This Anti-Mage is getting more dangerous by the minute. He actually, like in terms of net worth, he almost caught up with the Gyrocopter and we saw him sitting like at the, what was it, 6th position at a long time ago, so yeah, that's gonna be that, let's see, that's gonna be an anti-mage, birds, not gonna be in time for the stuns. But yeah, gold per minute, it was 362, 
And now it's 484, and it shows, and it's still rising as well as he's just getting free farm. Complete free farm. They do have to care, be careful about the split pushing potential from Alex though, because Nature's Prophet is no joke. Yeah, Nature's Prophet and uh, Antimage are probably two of the best split pushers in the game. Maybe the two best split pushers. And uh, TCM, if they don't push in now, or even if they push in now, I mean, they're going to get split pushed. Uh, Mittal is uh, being pushed in right now. Um, they can always TP in with the, with Alex. So, yeah, TCM now, making the smart move, going in just for the bottom racks. Yeah. Let's see, Torrent comes in, only it's on Lucian's vacuum a little bit too late though. Here comes the Dark Sea Wall, but BKB already turned on. Cooldown comes down as well. Where's that BKB from Audio? It is still not used. He wants to wait until he has the Aegis Burn first, but in the meantime, that's already Kunkka dead. Our man being forced back as well. Audio is just not being focused completely, and he just sits there and hits stuff. And I mean, they know that he has the Aegis there, so that's obvious, but still, I mean, what did they hit? Look at the yeah. HP bars of TCM! Who did they hit? I think they focused a bit on the DK, but oh, oh. re-engagement. There goes the vacuum again. Thorn misses though, Dragon Tail up on Exist and, and net it up as well. That's gonna be Exist down with the Dazzle heal, getting the last hit. Our man forced back, Ubal's forced back into their fountain and that's gonna be one set of Rex down, going the way of TCM. They are able to rotate because we already know that the tier 2 towers have been down for quite some time. And with Exit out of the picture for a while since he died, but b bought back, died again. They don't really have to worry about anything else because our man, I mean, even though he doesn't have, like, nice damage, he is still pretty squishy. Yeah, definitely. Our man, even his damage is not that great just yet. I mean, he only has a Mantis style. Oh, he nice one. Comes in one. for a Mana Void, trying to interrupt the TP, of course, giving some freedom to Alex, who is split pushing on the top lane. Audio will still be there though, and that forces everybody of TCM back. They do take two sets of racks, and it is looking really, really, really good for TCM at the moment. I mean, and even they still have the ages. They still have the ages as well. Yeah, they can just do it again on the top lane the moment that they push the top lane out, and they don't have to worry about trading things on the in the middle or bottom lane in the meantime because a they've got mega creeps there on the lanes. Two, they've got tier two towers still standing. Yeah, TCM is looking really great. Um, the last fight, Evils, uh, they just focused so much on the DK. He was really tanky as of this moment. Um, not He was even in BKB form when they focused him, and they didn't even touch Go Audio. He, who, as you mentioned, was reluctant to use his BKB, smartly so, because he didn't need to. Yeah, he and, just was uh, not focused. And like, because he was at the back at the start, like they focused him a little bit, and then he came back. And he just yeah, stood exactly. there and hit stuff, and nobody hit him back. And we're now, great... I mean, yeah, just was able to stay alive. Yeah, also great play from the supports. Uh, Visage with his mech, and of course Dazzle just kept everyone alive. Not that everyone was really in danger of dying, but still. This is um... the sustainability is just very huge right now. Oh okay. yeah, it is. Okay. Our men is, and Go Audio fighting over Ancients, and back off both after that. <laughs> Go Audio got the last one though, the biggest one. The grand so basically he won. Yeah. Natural is not gonna win. He's dead. Oh, oh yeah. Edge. Naga Siren immediately picked up a uh, Diffusal Blade level 2. Still not in her inventory though. Korea, where are you? He's in the base. Just but yeah, this is TCM pushing out top lane. They have the ages, as you pointed out. Not yet burned out, so... Jericopter in the meantime picked oh, himself audio. up the Eagle Song. What? Oh. Let's be really careful. Jet they don't blade. have any vision? Wow. I've just been talking like about getting vision when you know your opponent has shadow blades and they don't have vision themselves. That's quite bad. Yeah, that's really not good. I mean, they're going to take this yeah, tier two, but uh, yeah, in potentially comes losing mega racks. Though. Yeah. Because yeah, they they can't really do anything against us right now. What can they do? There is I guess no they really they really have to hope for a really really good team fight combo with a vacuum wall torrent ship, but. The, yeah, oh, they're Iron gonna Man. try it, coming in from the side, here comes uh, Net already up, up on an illusion though, and it is gonna be Armin trying to stay alive, he is being forced out of this fight, Fiends go from Go Audio, he has got his BKB turned on though, but it doesn't really matter, it will be everybody killing down from Ubos, they do lose the Dazzle for it, but they get 4 in return, and it might be 5, Exist is the only one that hasn't died yet, the other 4 have already died, and some bought back, like Armin, he can't afford to die again, but they need to save the Rex, they can't find up against Mega Creeps, that will be Melee Rex down, Range Rex down, 
GG incoming right here. Unless they can really pull something out right now, but it doesn't look like it. Our man will go down for the second time this fight. Monster kill streak for TCM. Go audios. Gyrocopter. It is Alex able to get away in the Shadow Blade. They still get eat though, and this is Mega Creeps. This is GG. Yeah. This has one, GG. One. Is the score? Best of three. That's what happens if both teams win a game. We are going to see a game number three for the first time today in a series. Lucky us. Because these games are a lot. Like, this is the first time that TCM wins with Nagasar. They've been playing with Nagasar the entire day. <laughs> yeah. Finally. Really, really finally. They needed this one, I think. This yeah. is a moral victory. I, I agree. More than anything. I agree. And, and I mean, very even game. I mean, if the game would have lasted longer, Ubel's definitely had a chance to take it. Uh, they're laning at the start, even though it was smart in terms of making sure that Antimage is safe. Wasn't as safe as it turned out to be. Antimage didn't get as much as he should have gotten on the top lane. Made sure he got behind too far. And then TCM got ahead too far. And this is how it ends. Yeah, and TCM pushed in at the right moment. Just yeah. not gi not giving away space and time. Yeah, let's, uh, let's jump ourselves into game number three. Because, of course, we are... Watching the Group B loser bracket round one matchup between Ubals as well as TCM. Both of these teams have lost their first matchup and are now in the loser bracket. And one of these two teams will be dropped out of the Corsa Gaming Summer Tournament. Because that is what you're watching. We are going to jump in ourselves into game number three. Stick around for more Dota 2 action coming your way.